If you spend a lot of time online, it's so easy to get caught up in the idea that you always have to be grinding. But what social media doesn't tell us is how to deal with burnout, the complete lack of motivation we feel when we're tired of working and don't want to get out of bed in the morning. In today's vlog, let's talk about how to stay motivated even when you feel burnt out. Guys, I've been feeling so burnt out lately, especially throughout the past few weeks that every time that I have a break, I literally just want to crawl into bed, hide under the covers, and not do anything. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to do my skincare. I don't want to edit on YouTube. I just want to fully relax. But I know that sometimes the world that most of us live in doesn't always give us that chance to rest and recover. Sometimes we get unlucky and we reach the point of burnout right before exams or big deadline at work or anything else that's very important in our lives and unfortunately I feel like I'm in one of those circumstances. And when that happens, what we need to do is find just enough motivation to bounce back and start building a little bit of positive momentum. Because the longer we spend dwelling on our own fatigue and exhaustion, the harder it will be to pick ourselves back up again. To facilitate this, I like to start by creating a list of short tasks that will put a dent in my workload without being overly complex or difficult. Then I channel all the willpower I have into accomplishing them, making sure that whatever else happens, I get them done. Because during periods of burnout, it becomes so easy to feel overwhelmed by all the work that we've let pile up. So the key is to stop that from happening and break the cycle by doing at least something productive with our day. It can be as simple as brainstorming our essay, cleaning the kitchen, or breaking down a big project into smaller tasks, or even just making a plan to take on the work we have to do. The idea is to give ourselves a sense of control over the work we have to do to reduce the amount of stress and anxiety caused by buildup and procrastination. I feel like fitness has always been a huge part of my life, especially recently. And in the past, I was always told that, oh, health equals weight and things like that. But we all know that it's really not that simple. Which is why instead of just using a regular scale to track my progress, I've been using the Dara scale by FitTrack. So the Dara scale is pretty cool because it uses biological impedance analysis in order to measure your body composition. So you can see things like your body fat percentage as well as your muscle mass with an accuracy of within 3% of a DEXA scan for bone density measurements which is the most accurate smart scale in its class. I feel like instead of focusing so much on my weight, I can focus on other things like building my muscle mass and becoming stronger. And that's why the DARA scale allows me to kind of motivate myself in these different types of aspects to achieve my personal goals. I find it interesting how we can also measure your metabolic age as well as your protein rate. And it has explanations about all of them within the app itself. It also emphasizes the long game. And we all know that huge, big changes to our lifestyle styles are not going to be able to last a long time and it's those really small little changes that we provide for our lifestyles that make us really change in the long run and the small steps that can be sustained is what the dara scale and fit track in general represents for a limited time the dara scale is 30 percent off on the website and when you click the link down below you will get an additional 20 percent off so that's a total savings of 50 percent thank you to fit track for partnering with me on this portion of today's video Thank mm -hmm. you.
If we think about what makes burnout so hard to deal with, a big part is that fatigue prevents us from operating at our usual level. We have certain expectations for ourselves about how productive we should be, what kind of grades we should be getting, and how highly we should be achieving. And normally this is good. We want to have high standards for ourselves and be ambitious, but we also want to recognize that sometimes by upholding these expectations, we can actually get in the way of ourselves and put ourselves in a position to do worse rather than better. It's easy to forget, but life is really a marathon and not a race. And if we bring an all or nothing attitude to everything we do, that's not sustainable. Hi guys, we just came back from soccer. It was really fun. It's already dark outside, which sucks because I feel like I'm more productive in the evening time, but I also like the sun too. It's okay though. We're gonna make dinner right now. Okay, let's go cook. We have to recognize that sustainability and success over the long term sometimes requires that we temporarily relax our standards for ourselves and accept the fact that our output and results will be suboptimal. And oftentimes, that's the key to staying motivated. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably thinking that this is basically impossible to do. But I promise you that if you really convince yourself that it's for the best, your body and mind need to be cut some slack every so often. You'll be able to relax your standards a little bit, hold on to just enough motivation to keep from fully crashing and burning and that's what you want to avoid at all costs because it's so much easier to get back to full speed when you've just slowed down than when you've fallen off your path entirely I like to say in my head that it's better to do something badly than not do it at all. For example, instead of doing a 15 minute stretch in the morning, maybe I'll just do five minutes. Instead of not working out at all, maybe I'll just walk for 10 minutes on the treadmill. That way, I'll still keep up with some of the things that I have to do, but the hurdle is not so big that I want to stop doing it entirely. I got these pink eye masks from Amazon and I've literally been looking forward to putting them on every single day. They're a lot more pink than I anticipated. Like they, they're like a hot pink, but I thought it would be a baby pink like the packaging. I don't care though. They feel so good. No matter how hard we try to avoid it though, there will come a time where we really do end up fully burnt out without the motivation to do anything at all. And that's okay. Remember that it's not a sign of failure or weakness, but rather something normal that happens to everyone. We feel burnt out because we're not finding meaning or purpose with the things that we're doing. People need a sense of meaning to feel like they're doing something purposeful with their lives. And if you find yourself burnt out, maybe we have to reevaluate not just what we're doing, but why? But sometimes the problem isn't that we don't know why we're doing the work that we're doing. It's just that we've forgotten why we're doing it. We've gotten so caught up in our day to day that we've lost track of a bigger picture, the end goal that we're pursuing and our reasons for pursuing it. And if that's the case, then we can try just reminding ourselves of that. Look at your vision board, do our journaling, write down your goals to reassure yourself that you're on the right track and the work that we're doing isn't actually meaningless and empty, even if we sometimes feel like it is. Because as long as you're connected to something that really matters to you not because someone told you it should but because you genuinely care then you'll always find the motivation to get back on track eventually at the end of the day remember to take things slowly and don't try to take on the world right now all on your own burnout is a completely normal part of life and you shouldn't feel like there's something wrong with you if you're not back at a hundred percent in a few days we all recover at our own pace and sometimes taking the time to realize that maybe we should be taking a different approach or actually doing something else can be more powerful than just jumping right back into the rhythm that caused us to burn out in the first place. We always have to be taking care of ourselves and remember that no matter what we're doing, we need to put ourselves first. At the end of the day, I don't have it all figured out, but I think that we can all try to become our best selves together. Mm -hmm.